Yeah. Booty was good this morning. Booty, booty, booty camp. Booty, booty, booty camp. Ouch. I get like this real, where my shoes tie up. Like, it must be too tight. And when I take it off, it's so itchy on top. Oh, where like the shoelaces tie up. It's like they dig into me. Owie. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have a shower and now bomb and shower head. That sh I had the best shower last night. It like it's it come it like comes out more, so it covers more of an area, which is really nice. Oh my god, my man's gone. I hate looking there and seeing his clothes and his undies and pants and <coughs> he's so sweet though. Every time, but like the day that he flies out. He'll like make the bed. He folds like all the washing that we have. So that's mine there. My dresses he lays there because he knows I hang them up. He folds like it, all the washing we've got and he'll put on a load if it's like there and then he'll chuck it in the dryer before we go. Like he'll do the dishes. He'll quickly clean like the living uh, the living room, the kitchen. He made the kids beds. I need to show you. Because, you know, not too many men do this. My man's pretty special. And he's mine. <laughs> he even put new batteries in their fairy lights. Like usually I do it because this is like a girly thing. And I wanted this but yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. He's so sweet. So cute. And he's even folded their pajamas that they were wearing. Um, last night so they can wear it again tonight because they're not really you know messy or dirty so they can wear it again but yeah shower's on i gonna have a shower where's my lindor chocolate it was up in the cupboard here oh it's still there yay okay in the shower i go gains this is leftovers from last night so i'm just gonna dish it up and heat it up heat up the laksa and um, that lux is okay. So, so far the best one I've had is at Each Street Markets. Since I'm um, doing those food diaries and me eating six meals a day, I've been able to eat heaps now. Like I can munch heaps. I need to do the dishes. Mm. First, I'm going to clean this bathroom because the sink needs cleaning. When, when's your message gonna go away? Every time I'm sitting on the toilet, all I see is that fucking sticker, big hole. You got a big hole. And while I'm pushing out a crap, it's not the nicest thing to read. And I don't know why we haven't removed it. It's just, it just stays there. I don't know, I get, I get reminded of Jasmine every time. Maybe I should clean. My mum's bathroom too because it's looking a bit filthy. Yep, I'll do that. Do you want to know what I just did? I figured out how to take the little like popper top off like uh, the drain bit. It just screws and it comes off. Huh. 
I was gagging, let me just tell you that. Because it fills up really fast, like there's something blocking it. So I took it off and I was trying to like scoop it out with like a fork or a screwdriver and like little bits of hair was coming up and like mold, you know, the, the fucking yuck shit that's down your drains. So I was like, nothing much is coming up. So I decided to go underneath and unscrew it. And once I unscrewed it, just hair, like a big knot of hair just filled that bottom, that, you know, little bend in the drain underneath your sink that bend right there and I went to the bath here and I tipped it all out I had to bang it on the side of the bath and just clumps like chunks of hair were coming out and it smelled rotten and I was like I was like gagging because it had all white shit and that would have been like toothpaste like it was all in with it Ugh, it was so gross so now I've tipped a whole oh I ended up pulling and it, when I took that off, it was hanging from up top as well as all in here. So I had to get tissues and like pull it all out from hanging up here because that's where I couldn't reach down in there. So it's all gone. I've tipped like bleach. So bleach can sit for a bit in there. So. <laughs> it stunk. It really fucking stunk. Yuck. Can't believe that. My, my lunch was about to come up. I really enjoyed that lunch too. Motherfucker. Oh, have I got disinfectant? Oh, yo. Disinfectant. I'm about to like tip fucking tea tree down there. I'll tip this down there. Oh. Must have run out of disinfectant. I am off to Tajay. Going to get Nazoni, another Prezi. Oh my God, look at that burger. It's called a Zinger Black or just a black boxed meal. A Zinger though. Does it not come in original? It's just called Zinger Black. Oh, that looks gross. Where's, can you see it? Look at that. Oh yeah. Trying to copy America, eh? With all their weird shit. Hey? Trying to copy America, eh? Because <laughs> in America, at their Wendy's or Hungry Jack's or something, they've got the Angry Whopper and the bun is like fully red. It's like pure red. I've seen the Hodge twins, they ate one. The bun has no spice in it or anything, it's just red. Hello pussycats, come here. You're not alone. Hi Roscoe. Hi. Hi Shadow. Hi. It's alright. It's alright. Kerry, your cats are fine. Your cats are good. Hi Shadow. Hi Shadow. Hi Tigger. Hi you. Hey. Hi Roscoe. Hi Roscoe. Hello. Hello. All right, you guys hungry? Are you guys hungry? Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh, you already know where you're going. Hi. All right, your food's in here, I'm guessing. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, I'm being nosy. You got chocolates. Hi, Donna and Ariel. Oh, this is from you, Kerry. Thank you so much for feeding my fur babies. They should be excited to see you guys. Gosh, they are going to trash my house, no doubt, especially Roscoe. No, actually, your house is like, there's nothing. There's those straws in the corner over there, but that's about it. There's honestly nothing else. Oh. Hi, say hi, mum. I miss you, mum. I miss you, mum. Hi, mum. Mm.
Now you come for pats and loves, hey? You miss this, don't you? You miss it, don't you? Hi. 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 Oh, you're going back for an eat? Come for a pat and go and piss off? Okay, clean the shit. Bag full of shit. Nice. Okie dokie, my time is done here. That one's still up there eating. The others still have their bowls of food. Shadow ate a little bit, but they'll probably come out and eat more when I go. They're probably just like, who are you? So, I'm gonna take this, because this is mine. Got me chocolate. Carrie. Didn't have to get me chocolate. It's just feeding cats. Like seriously, it's not not not, not a big deal. That shit though. No wonder fucking Jay gags. Shit's intense. <laughs> Show him. Show Jay. I'm patting his ex his PlayStation. Daddy will be back soon. Okay. He hasn't forgotten about you. Okay. Have a nice pat for you. Love the game. Don't you love it? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you pussycats tomorrow, okay? They're like, bitch. The radio's going slightly in Hudson's room just so they've got um they don't get lonely or you know it's not pitch silent. No, your house is like honestly not a mess. Trust me. There's a balloon there and a tennis ball in the hallway. That's it. Bye Shadow, I see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow, okay? Alright? I'll be back tomorrow. Ah, meow. Meow, meow. Alright. Oh. I need the key to get back in. Oh, I've had to turn on the aircon. Getting fucking hot. There's only still not asleep. Coda's crashed out. I put on meditation for her because she said she wanted it, so I just put it on. So she crashed out within um, f four, 15 minutes. I went in there and checked how long the meditation had been on. It had only been like 14 minutes or something, so she would have fallen asleep before that. Um, I went to go move Nazoni to her own bed because her presents are in my mum's cupboard. And if she's in there, she'll hear the plastic and she'll wake up straight away. So I wanted to move her to her own bed and then close the door so she didn't really hear much. But she's still awake. I think she's just really excited. So I'm going to give it a bit. I'm going to wrap the present that I've got hiding in my cupboard, which is the big one. So I'm going to do that right now because I'm going to... Going to boot camp 5.30 session tomorrow, so I'm going to have to be up at 4.30. So I need to go to bed early and uh, get a good night's sleep. It comes with Pinkie Pie and my mum got her um, Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle and they're part of um, the Equestria Girls they're called. The Equestria Girls which are like the human form of My Little Pony kind of thing. Well, not really human looking, but you know what I mean. They're not actual pony ponies. They grow up and they become like, they turn into... She can name all of them. God, Lilo's on my fucking gym clothes for tomorrow. Get off. just bought them today you dumb cat put them down there since I'm getting up at 4 30 I need them like right there to just like 
get on while I'm just sitting here still trying to wake up. Comment of the day! Okay, comment of the day is by Heidi Hess. Today is your special day, girlfriend. You said, hi, Ariel. I really like how you do the comment of the day, and hopefully tomorrow it will be me. It is you, girlfriend. First, let me start by saying my name is Heidi, and I'm 12 years old, and I live in Dubai. Oh, my God, that's like a rich place to live. Is it, like, beautiful there? Because I've heard that it's really beautiful, like, really high class, really rich. I'm an Aussie. When I go to Australia, I stay with my grandma in the Gold Coast. I am in year eight. I have two sisters and two dogs. I'm dyslexic and I watch your vlogs. Oh, your videos every day after school. I'm dyslexic too. There are different, you know, spectrums of dyslexia. I'm very mild. I can read and, you know, read words and everything like normal completely normal I can read um, I just cannot spell I suck at spelling like it's I can't smell the most simplest word um, I just I don't get spelling word like words why make a word that doesn't sound how it's spelt like photo it's ph oto not foto which is how i would probably spell it but i i know how to spell photo i'm just saying like words like that how they're not spelt how they sound okay anyways i have been watching your videos for so long and I have never gotten bored. Nozoni and Miyakoda are the funniest and cutest um, are the funniest and cutest kids I have ever seen. Hopefully when I come back to the GC we can finally meet and I can see you in person. And I can see your two gorgeous girls. Thank you for making my day again and love you. Love you too and thank you for your beautiful comment. And I hope to meet you one day too. Um maybe when you're back next we can have a meet up sounds good sounds good i'm going to call it a night and get this vlog edited so i can have an early night like this vlog if you haven't already subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you guys tomorrow good night